Ivy, where you at, girl? You know, I always love getting in with my girl Ivy, and she's getting so big. And then Ariana over here is Miss Curiosity as well. And you guys may have noticed the other day we didn't have a vlog. You know, we're taking Mondays off of the vlog. We've been doing that now for six or eight months. And we've been still filming six vlogs a well, week. Well, we missed a vlog because it's a tough decision about what to do here, but we're considering making a change. You guys have no idea how much the vlog has meant to me. I mean, for the last six years, such a thing, you know, I mean, we did over five years every single day. And then the last six or eight months, we've done six days a week, which means that we film almost every single day. We take one day off of filming. It's something that I really look forward to. I enjoy sharing my knowledge of reptiles, my love of reptiles, my passion of reptiles. I mean, I love the fact that you guys have had a chance to see Jeffrey grow up. You remember when we first got him when he was a little tiny baby, and now he's getting so big, and he's just becoming so beautiful. And it's such an amazing thing for me to be able to share that with you guys but as you know life has changed quite a bit for me over the last few months sometimes there's things that you have to consider like maybe I need to make some changes because of one thing or another and I thought long and hard about this and I want to explain to you what that change is going to mean to the vlog the future of the vlog and why I'm doing it nope. Nope. from every aspect of keeping reptiles like nice shed here from my guy Maisie the corn stick which I really don't show off nearly enough you know Maisie has been an ambassador animal for us since the day we opened up. I always said I remember building this enclosure it was a little bit different than everything else because it had the cork bark high and I wondered if it would use it a lot and literally Maisie's in it almost constantly it's such an amazing animal so you guys were here for me building the zoo you know and I was able to every day talk to you about you know, the enclosures we we're building moving animals over acquiring new animal ambassadors I mean it's been just such an amazing ride over the last six years. All right, guys, so you guys remember last week, we cleaned salt and pepper's enclosure. Now that went pretty good, not great. So sometime when we were putting them back, one of them decided they were either gonna try to climb up or try to eat the universal rock again. And that put a hole in the liner. So after all that time, and after all the fixings, it is leaking, again. which is no bueno. So <laughs> now we have to get salt and pepper back out, which we, I'm gonna get soaked again. And uh, Lori's gonna try to fix it. So hopefully it doesn't take as long as it did last time. We're hoping it's just a quick little fix. This is not, not how I want it, but they're... Okay, so grab them out, put them in the tub. <laughs> Visualize the end goal. Visualize the end goal. Visualize the end goal in the tub. Safe. All your fingers. All that matters. For the love. And for the alligator. Salty. Come here. Over here. Hey, salt. Salty. Big girl. <laughs> yeah, big boo. What was that? That's not okay. That is not how we trained you to act. You are more special and more smarter than that. Okay. I love you. I know you don't want to go in here. I'm sorry. That's the easy one. <laughs> it's like if they just stopped breaking their enclosure, this wouldn't this wouldn't happen. Good boy. I gotta focus. Relax, relax. Squeezy. That's how you get alligators in the tub. So my only concern with it is oh, like, is like even if I wanted to do that. Are you strong enough? Yeah, because I can watch you do it and I see you look like you're gonna yeah. blow out your butthole. I am. Yeah. And you're red in the face. Do I have the power to control that much power? You gotta have the muscles. Please never do that again. You've been sharing triumphs like hatching frilled dragons for the very first time. For all the snakes that we've hatched over the years that I've been able to bring you guys on that journey. I mean, it's been amazing not only for me to be able to share that with you, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed it as well. And you know, we tried to entertain you, we tried to educate you, we tried to just have community. You know, we wanted you to be part of that community, the reptile army. And the reptile army is stronger than ever now, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. And listen, the vlog is gonna be here, it's not going anywhere. But I wanna tell you what the decision I've made that that will make an impact on the future of the vlog. Look at these ornate Euromastics. I mean, how incredible. And you guys remember when we unboxed these, right? Ooh, come on, buddy. Here's number two and number three. Look at those. Just take a look at these things. And that's, I think, the thing that's been so cool about the Reptarium and the vlog. And the synergistic relationships that those two things have. You know, you guys have watched this grow. You know, every time we've added animals, these used to be at the BHB office. And then we built this enclosure and we brought them over here. And now they're thriving over here and they're becoming such cool, tame, 
some really great animal ambassadors. And that's what I want to keep going. I want to keep telling the story, especially across the street. Now listen, I've always thought that the vlog would evolve to probably somewhere between two and three vlogs per week, but we would make them really amazing vlogs. So we would still film six days a week, but we would actually make really banger vlogs rather than just churning out vlogs every single day like we have. You know, sometimes we have really good ones, sometimes we have boring ones. It's just the way it is when you're churning them out. So I've always thought that would be the case, but I wanted to keep as many vlogs as we can through this build so that you guys can really be a part of it, take ownership and see the day-to-day -day change. So we don't want to reduce until after we're actually done with the build and we're open and stuff like that. With that being said, family time right now is so important to me. All right, so it's time to get zombie moved on over. Then we can get this cage all fixed up for Shirley Temple. Ooh, go Jets. She didn't like me picking her up like that. Here you go, here's your new home. So she's a Chilean rose hair and she's got like a Brazilian philodendron in here. So kind of cool. I bet those philodendrons move all over the place down south. So that's awesome. perfect. And don't get me wrong. The thing that's very difficult is I look at you guys as family too. And I care about you so, so much. By the way, look at this scaleless tiger that's about to lay eggs any day now. And although we don't have the quantity of colubrids that we usually have, we do have some really beautiful stuff. We hung on to the stuff that we really wanted to work with. Uh, we've got hognose snakes that are going really good. It's an albino anaconda. Here. Right, regardless, let me get right to the point of what I'm trying to say is that family right now means so much to me and spending time with my grandson is so important to me. He's a year and a half old. He's amazing. My daughter has another baby on the way due in the middle of July. So family time is important to me. So what I've decided to do is actually go from six days a week to five days a week. That way I can have two days where I can maybe go out and spend time with my daughter, my grandson, spend time with Noah, spend time with Lori, spend time with my family and kind of just make memories right now because it's really important with what's going on on with me to have that time and I hope that you guys understand that again we'll have five videos a week we're definitely going to continue to take Monday off we did take a Tuesday off which I was not really planned to be honest with you I think we're going to probably do either Wednesday or Thursday so Monday Wednesday Thursday two of those three days we're actually going to stop vlogging and I hope that you guys don't mind again five days a week you're still going to get us that's going to go all the way until we open the Reptarium we're going to vlog for at least five days a week and every now and then we may throw a bonus video out so make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell on so you know if we throw an extra video because if something really great is happening we're not going to take the day off we're going to just go ahead and film it over at cross street and there's going to be days that are going to be pretty amazing over there so that's basically it guys the big announcement is is that we're still going to have the vlog it's going to be five days a week instead of six days a week and i hope you guys understand that i just want that for some personal time for me because it's really important in my journey in life right now to have that time and make those memories with my family and my closest friends so mike and i have to clean the butterscotch today and me and jay were talking and we thought it would be a fun idea to make it as hard as possible for him. I'm gonna sabotage him. Just, you know, keep him on his toes. So, yeah. Come on, Condor, let's clean Butterscotch. Let's do it. As you guys can see, obviously Butterscotch kind of made another mess. And she's getting ready to break shed, so we'll have to clean it again in a couple days. But that's okay, there's a poop back there, there's some poop in the water. Uh, you ready? Why did you want to plug the back? Why? I had, I had to set up to go. Do we need the back? Yeah, we gotta clean our water. Oh, I'm sorry. This could be so much fun. Look, um, do you want to climb in there and get the poop? I'll protect you. I think you're faster at it. Cool. Now, why are you so slow, man? What do you mean? I already did ran and got the ladder. I'm all ready. I got the, trash the clothes. Can? What about the trash can? The trash can? Yeah. You say trash can? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said dash cam. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense. Alright, All right, so you're gonna climb up the ladder, you're gonna go on that side, you're gonna go back there and grab the poop, I'm gonna protect you and I'm gonna clean the water. Oh, I grab the water? No, 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 I'll do the water. You're gonna climb all the way back there and grab the poop and stuff. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you with the glass. Alright, here's your bucket. You're doing great. Uh, Did you not plug in anything? Mike! Mike! She's what? coming back here! Mike, I'm serious. Yeah, she is serious. <laughs> you okay? You okay? <laughs> All right, we'll do the, the wet bag in a minute. Go ahead and just grab as much poop and everything you can. This is going great. If she starts attacking me, like, I have nowhere to go. Like, I have nowhere to go. She won't. Mike! You're okay. I'm watching her. She's just, she's bucking because I touched her. I got her. you. You're okay. All good. She's just doing butterscotch things, you know? Does that make sense? How did this turn out this way? <laughs> you, I said, do you want to go in? You said... Yeah, sure, that's fine. Piggyback ride? I don't know about piggyback. I'm tired. You can just push on my shoulder and climb down the ladder like a normal human being. Piggyback ride? <laughs> no. Oh, okay, are you ready? Because I'm a heifer. <laughs> this is a bad piggyback ride. You can get up. Thank you. Thank this you, is Mike. ridiculous. I'm ready. 
Wait, wait, we're not done. It's, it didn't go. Oh, I thought we were done. No, 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 no. I need this. I'm sorry. Why are you <laughs> wrapping it up? I don't know why it's taking over. Why are you? I can't help. What uh, else do we need to do, boss? We gotta get the water. Water? Yeah, what you go wrapping okay. this all up? I got you, I got you. You know, plug the extension cord. Really? Did you do that on purpose? No. Huh. Why would I do that? Why That's would I? you almost died. We so if you did that on purpose, you did that to yourself. Okay. I wasn't planning on going in there with her. You weren't planning on going in there when I specifically said, hey, you're going to go in with Butterscotch. You said, okie dokie. <laughs> what are you doing? I really don't know. No, not. A cunt. Oh, I thought you said you wanted me to unplug it. I thought you were done. Cunt. I'm sorry. Plug it? Do you want it on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Just. Building a house for your head. Fine, I can't see the snake. I'm trying to help. Oh, he assaulted me. You saw that. What do I do with this? There's no garbage can over here. All done. Butterscotch is clean. Was that good? But don't worry, we're actually. Okay. But don't worry, we actually post content every single day on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You could definitely check us out there all the time. As a matter of fact, right now we're going to do a feeding video starting with Son of Sam, the African bullfrog, and then go on from there. So again, if you want, you can check it out either Brian Barchick or at Snake Bites TV. You can find content every single day when the vlogs are here, all right? You ready, Noah? I'm ready. This is Son of Sam, and Sam is an African bullfrog, and this is the very first time we've ever tried to feed him a rat. Oh. He got it. Look at how cool that is. They can eat their brothers and sisters. They can eat snakes. They can eat lizards. They can eat rodents. They can eat bugs. It's gonna put a lot of size on them. This poop he's gonna have on this. It's gonna be. And although short form content is basically what we're focused on, we're trying to make the short form a little longer. So now we're trying to make our short videos instead of 10 or 15 seconds, like a minute to three minutes long. So after the frog eats, we're gonna actually do a voiceover that is about other reptiles eating and then just a bunch of really cool B-roll of those reptiles feeding. And it's so amazing. Every animal teeth is completely different from the amphibian all the way to tortoises and turtles, which eat completely different. Continuing to learn how incredible these animals are. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos you can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, this poop he's going to have on this, it's going to be... Cigar -like.